we've seen from Brian Lima's team and Argentina. So many weapons. Revol in his 80th tournament, rarefied territory in the sevens world. Of course, Argentina have an Olympic bronze medal to show. That man, Gaston Revol, has had an up and down, as I mentioned, his 80th event. He joins a rare company with Mickelson, Rodwell, and Norton. Perhaps an argument that his achievement is greater have the COVID-affected years. He lost a few events that would have put him above those guys. But Samoa came out of the gates in fine form against New Zealand. Just smashed him, 24 points to nil. And then one of the events of the weekend was the Australia game great victory for them over Australia the three wins put them top of their pool and the Argentinians dealt with the Canadians easily and the Kenyans and then a thrilling match with Ireland did not go their way so they find themselves here and Zach this really is the business end cup quarterfinals yeah this is the big dance this is what you work so hard for at your home training ground you know these two teams are familiar foes in cup quarterfinals they last met in LA where Samoa Got the edge 24-19, so this is going to be one cracker of a match. Yeah, Jordy Way there in the orange jersey. He is our referee in charge, the Australian. Ready to go? Well, both these sides not afraid to bring the physical side of the game. Tight defenses, and it will be Revol to get us underway with his trusted right boot. Samoa receiving in their traditional blue jerseys. Brought down by Opatai. Loose for a moment, but Scanlon's on it. For the moment, somehow recalling back within 10 meters of their own try line. Now they're looking for space. Well, a little bit of a tentative start from Samoa. Yeah, a little sloppy play there from Samoa to start the game. They're a very much a free-flowing type team. That's a new ball. Which can cause each other to be on different pages. It's not how they wanted to start this first opening minute and Argentina right where they want to be inside Samoa's half they're clinical when it comes to the set piece platform well you see there just seven points between these teams the last time they've met at this stage of the HSBC World Series Samoa competed for medals on four occasions last year and did not come away with any they want to go one further here in the first event of the 22-23 season well work set piece move for the Argentinians sees Betterfeld Carry 15 minutes, 15 yards from the line. Looking to get his knee to the ground. That would complete the tackle. Now Scanlon joins. And now they have to release. Tackle complete. Argentina, three scro. Five meters from the line. One on one battle. One of the best. Moneta is enveloped by Samoans, but he gets the ball away. It's been lost forward. Yeah, like you said, Gareth, this is two scrappy teams who are going to bring the physicality. You can see an early tactical decision by Samoa's defense, trying to hold up the smaller Argentinian players, trying to cause a little bit of havoc when it comes to that. Santiago Gomez Cora, the Gomez Sevens head coach, done great things with this program. Incredible scenes in Vancouver at the Canada Sevens last year where they won the gold medal. The first time in 13 years that they put the gold medal around their necks. And huge emotion for Santiago Gomez Cora and his team. But right now it's Samoa. Good work. The left hand is not enough to fend Moneta away. High tackle called. It's a quick ball with one Samoan down behind play. So only six men in the dark blue jerseys. Escaping the tackle is Maliko. He's off and running. He's been so dangerous this weekend. Va Apelu Maliko gets his eighth try here in Hong Kong. The first for Samoa. This man Maliko has been on absolute fire this weekend in Hong Kong, scoring his eighth try. And something the Samoans do so well is just their evasion. You can see that just a late little movement by Maliko there, and he has the pace to just burn Iskro around the corner. Maliko is kind of the heart and soul of this team, captain of one of three. 
but he just has the full package. Come on, please. He sets the tone early here for Manu Samoa. Conversion right where you want them, in front of the post. And that puts Maliko back on top of the try scoring list here. And Grandidier in fine form too for France. Okay. So that was all done with one Simone player down, having his ankle treated behind play. He's back on his feet. Good to see him up there. And he's going to play on that Steve on the side. As you're ready, I'll pull time on. Okay. So the time was off for that injury. And it will be back on when this ball is struck. Come back on. Here we go. Couldn't get a pod there, but they got the safe hands of Iskro instead. Inside option is offered, but not taken. I tackle. Sorry. Sorry, you must take advantage. Frustration there. I'm not sure if the players wouldn't have minded advantage. They had quick ball already. Yeah, they would have appreciated all the Samoans condensed around the breakdown. But you're always at the mercy of the referee. Moneta always wants to play up tempo. He always tries to catch defenders out because he's just got such serious pace. And a good kick down the sideline. I'll keep an eye on it. I thought that one last one was OK. I'll keep an eye on it, yeah. East Grow, a fierce competitor. Space is good. Space is good. 23-year-old is solid. He has 100 kgs. Here we go. Argentina down a try here. Two and a half minutes to play in the first half of this first cup quarterfinal here in Hong Kong. With the first touch, really, for Asadzu. Revol keeps it with the flow through the hands. Tobias Wade. Out to Vetterfeld. Good support there. Phases being strung together. Luciano Gonzalez decides to have a go. And the short ball. Oh, great footwork. Still dancing, but in the end, brings himself down, Tobias Wade. Short ball, great interplay between the teammates there. Anisgro picks up on the clue from Gonzalez and comes into that short line. Yeah, Iskro, just such a powerful man. And what a brilliant line run there. You can see early on, Argentina really trying to test the interior defense of the Samoans. A lot of step backs, but just a pin and pass there. And a great line and fend by Iskro. We knew this is going to be a physical match, especially on these hard running lines by both teams. Iskro, just such a critical cog to this Argentina squad. Wade adds the extras. Argentina have not had great success here in Hong Kong. Just one of their previous 11 quarterfinals. I'm going to call time on as you kick it, okay? One thing to look out for here is Argentina have been absolutely clinical here at the restart. They've got some tall bodies that can really whack the ball back. I'm going to turn it on When you can do that, you can really suffocate your opponent. See Revol just looking at the big screen, which has the clock on it, which allows him 30 seconds to reintroduce the ball. That one barely goes 10, but Samoa's decided they're good enough for them. They're going to play with possession. Oh, nice fend there. Nice footwork. Maliko again. Offloading to Scanlon. He hops over one. Forward pass there. Forward. So unlucky by the Samoans there. They did everything they needed to do to unlock that Argentinian defense, really pressing those interior spaces, then offloading. Let's go. Asking questions of those defenders. Matavao here, the general in the middle of the field with his red cap on. Just unfortunate the ball just happened to go forward. They had, they had the extra man. They had the opportunity. But Matavao will now be in defense behind this scrum. Set piece move. The gong sounded. We're into the red numbers. Last chance for Argentina, perhaps, to take the lead at the end of the first half here. 
The kick and chase, they're not afraid to use it. It goes off the side of the boot for Mineta, and that will do it for the first half. He knew if that stayed in, he had a shot. That's what the grin tells you. But after seven minutes, it's Samoa seven, Argentina seven. Well, we mentioned this is the cup quarterfinal stage, the business end. Argentina have had a lot of possession, a lot of passes, but the scores are equal despite those Samoan six offloads there. Yeah, that's a telltale sign of how Samoa wants to play. They want to make sure that they don't die with the ball on the ground. They always want to continue asking questions. And for always having that continuity game, the defense can never really get set and it allows such of their steppers and power players to have those one-on-one -on -one matchups. The calming influence of Brian Lima, World Rugby Hall of Famer. Five Rugby World Cups to his name, three Sevens Rugby World Cups, and several appearances here at Hong Kong, where this team, of course, have previously won in 07 and 10. It's been a while. We are back, Cafe Pacific, HSBC Hong Kong 7's Cup quarterfinal action. So much more to come. This one up next, Fiji and South Africa. Fiji, such a tight team. They have owned this ground over the last five competitions, won the last five games, and they have a 34-game win streak that will be on the line in that South Africa game, Zach, and a daunting task for anyone to face these guys. Yeah, Fiji has really kind of set the gold standard here in Hong Kong. That every time they come to this ground, they are the team to beat. Well, great shot, and that displays the unity they have. But right now, it's a different South Sea Island outfit. Samoa, who's all squared up no, step, with Argentina. Step. Thank you. It's getting bright here. A little bit of drizzle early on, and bouncing and driving is Luciano Gonzalez. Recognizes the pace arriving to his left, and he uses it. Great finish. And there's a late shot on Marcos Moneta. He's not happy, but Argentina are. They've got their second try. Just what the doctor ordered for Argentina. Win the restart. And Gonzalez, he is such a powerful man. Great fan, great bump off. Doesn't quite have the pace to finish, but knowing that. He's got the money man in Moneta, who is a sure bet to finish. Just a little bit of extras there. Just trying to knock the ball. It just got a little too high. Probably nothing malicious in there, but the referee just giving a little warning, saying, hey, not here, pal. Yeah, originally, I thought it was a bit of a cheap shot, but I think he was genuinely trying to knock that ball out. World Rugby Player of the Year, Sevens Player of the Year, Moneta wasn't happy. Quick whistle again, even though Argentina had possession they wanted. Not sure that Samoa retreated the 10 meters there. Go back 10 meters. A, oh, there, good call from our referee. He spotted it too. Jordan Wade. It's come. It's come down. Samoa just a little overzealous there, trying to put as much pressure on Argentina as they can. The referee saw the offsides. Now Argentina on, will set the scrum. Number four. They'll split their backs one, with the triple one formation, trying to understand which matchup they want to go at. What's the best space to attack? You can see Moneta here on the close side to us. Well, the guns are out. You see those Olympic rings. This Argentinian side, of course, sevens. Rugby's contribution to the quadrennial event. And Argentina gained a bronze in Tokyo. Huge moment for them in their rugby history. Advantage, high tackle. Advantage for a high tackle on Vetterfeld. Yes. Quick tap. Over the top. Again, it's Gonzalez. 
to Moneta. This time, on the more shoulder, contact more on the shoulder, says the referee. Yard. Great communication from him. Penalty against Samoa. You can't go in front of the mark. It's a little bit scrappy over there, Zach, but in the end, it's still Argentina ball. Yeah, we knew it was going to be scrappy Sorry, from the first whistle. Argentina was no, probing that edge, backwards. a little loose you with the ball on the ground, but Otsatsuk, with that long, powerful that's frame, that's just gets his hands on the ball, gets a word, the penalty. Argentina right where they want to be, inside Samoa's half. Crouch! Samoa looking to win another quarterfinal. How valuable to have the likes of Gaston Revol on the field, the 35-year-old, just to slow things down. And now he's going to back himself up the short side. It closed up for him, though, pretty quickly. Second move on the ground. Oh, and he's been penalized. Number eight. No, 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 no. Thank you. Nadavar wants to get this going. Less than four minutes to play here in the second half. First cup quarterfinal. To keep the dreams alive of lifting the famous Hong Kong Sevens Cup. Oh, Argentina come in off the wing. Release one! Verfeld wraps him up. Argentinian player down behind play, as you can see there, so... Samoa can recognize that. They're going to find some space and into it right away. Great recognition from Owen Nue. He's been quiet up to this point, but he's backed himself on the outside. Nue for Samoa. The scrappiness of Samoa showing through once again. Their never say die attitude. They could be down by seven, 14 points, and they know how to work their way. Nui just backs himself, understand that he's got the mismatch, he's got the pace, especially with an Argentinian man down in the backfield. They have the numbers advantage. And dots down for another five. So that conversion ties it back up again. One try each per half, converted, and there's the desperate ankle tackle. It's significant, he almost had to get out of the way of the oncoming therapist who's going to deal with the injured Argentinian player, and that's why he had so much space. Yeah, there's always lots of variables on the on the sevens pitch. Argentina will know that they haven't been quite successful here in quarterfinals. Argentina got their hands on it, two minutes of play left. This is the calm of a team that won five medals last year, Argentina. They don't panic. They've beaten the very best. Ooh, big contact there. Sachuk spins out of one. Still going. Mateo Sachuk is... Oh, the off the wing. Fair tackle. They're both down for the moment, but Argentinians are still attacking. Again, Argentina is short a player just to the left of your screen there. That big tackle's left him out of play. Spinning away wisely is Tobias Wade. Some tired bodies out there and some potentially injured ones. The right arm's free. Zazu's there in support. Zazu decides to go left. Working the narrow channel. Through Verafel. 45 seconds to play. It's all square here in the cup quarterfinal. We will have extra time. If we can't break the score line here. Up to the 22 now. Oh, isolated for the moment. And they've won the penalty, Samoa. Great discipline in defense. Yeah, they just connected their line, waited for the opportunity for an isolated player. Revol does just enough in defense. Samoa, lots of players walking around this pitch at the moment. The ball's been in play almost the whole 14 minutes. It's been very impressive. Another Argentinian down, you'll see him there. The busiest man on the pitch is the Argentinian therapist. Samoa looking for a chip and chase. Oh, he's flopped. This is interesting. Ooh, that's a tough call. Yeah. Owen knew he's gone down in a heap. 
Yeah, a little bit of dramatics there from Nui. But Gaston Revolt kind of knew what was happening. And it was more of the shoulder check that the referee saw. Just obstructing him on his way through. Pretty much a harsh call, but the referee saw it his way. The game won't end on a penalty, of course. So here we go. Samoa with the scores locked, 14 apiece. Looking to book their place in the Hong Kong 7 semi-final. Argentina back to full strength, running repairs here. Afasua backed himself. Now it's gone wide again to Nui. He's done it once, doesn't do it again. This time Revol gets his boot, and this could be trouble. Oh, no, exactly what Argentina didn't need to do there. Quick tap from Samoa. They're going seven against six into the red numbers. That ball spilled. Has it gone forward? Yes, said a referee. So reprieve for Argentina. And look at the bodies. They're all got hands on knees, and they are exhausted, Zach. I'm exhausted just watching it. What a second half of rugby. These two teams just scrapping it out, knowing how much, how important each game is here in this Olympic qualification season. So this one runs in regulation 14 all. Just to sum it up, we're going to have a coin toss. We're going to have extra time. And Argentina will be one short for the first minute and 45 of the extra time. Jordi Ray will cross the coin here and the two managers will decide. Come on. Yeah, for the viewers back home, the yellow card was given for the deliberate knockdown. You have to be in a position to truly catch it, and he just was not. He just slapped the ball down, therefore, a yellow card offense. Which way would you like to Okay, so Argentina kicking off, running towards the ball team. Well, you heard it from our referee. Argentina will kick off. One of the best kickoff teams. They are 34% at restart retention. So a one in three chance of possibly getting this back. Yeah, absolutely. You can see the, the length of Lazazu there and Otsatsuk. Those will be the two main kickoff targets. Gaston Raval, with all of his experience, has got pinpoint accuracy. But you can never count out Manu Samoa. They crawl back their way into games. And if you're new to Rugby Sevens, it is the equivalent of Golden Goal. First score gets it done. First score will win this match. It could be a kick. The kids don't seem to mind. No, they're loving every second of this. Fantastic rugby here in Hong Kong. And like we saw, I think it was yesterday, Samoa went for a drop goal to win the game. They did. So, top quarterfinal number one has not failed to please. Great action here. I somehow think that man may play a part. Luciano Gonzalez, Dream Team member, the HSBC Dream Team will be up. and. Voted on again here in Hong Kong. Get your votes in. It's the seven best players at the end of the weekend. Good. Yeah, Pelladini taking over the kicking duties. Big job ahead of him. Well, that is the naughty chair. So it is Verafeld who's in the bin. Six Argentinians trying to win this one. Ball is not claimed by either side. Eventually, someone will get their hands on it, but spill it. The kick and chase from Gonzalez into the corner. Does he get it down? Referee's going to have a look. Matt, come to you. Try yes or no, I think please. the reaction from Luciano like Gonzalez tells everything. He got a little bit of a um, Leono Messi moment. Oh, he just oh. loses control. Would have been the game winner. Brutal. Jordan, I have a decision. Yes, the ball has been lost forward by White. Yes. So scrum on the five meters. Excellent. No try. Wow, no try. The call. Scrum five meters. No maintained contact with the ball. And credit Maliko, who worked his way back. He gave him the push in the back. You see him celebrating there. That's Maliko, who did just enough to get that right arm knocked. Yeah, just affected that right elbow of Gonzalez. Yeah, you can see the frustration <laughs> on this man's face. You know how much it meant. The, the Las Pumas. How's your Spanish lip reading there, uh, Zach? Yeah, I don't think it's something I can say on air here, Reese. Fine. <laughs> okay, so it's still to play for here. First score wins. Samoa, seven on six. 
Backed up on their own five yard line. Here they go. Short ball. Yeah, there's tons of space out there. Through the middle. Goes Scanlon. Look on by what? It's knocked on. Advantage being played for Samoa. Good refereeing there because they want the ball in play. They don't want to restart. Advantage is over. Advantage over. So Samoa looking to exploit the extra space created by the Sinbin. Again, Scanlon almost busted up the middle, but can't. Ball down. One more behind. Penalty awarded. They want it left. Here they go. Through the fresh legs of Lady Tufia. Still going. Still going. Almost spilled forward. Scanlon's going for it again. Stepping off the right foot, but scrambling defense from Argentina, and they've got it. Well, all the Argentinian players within a 10-meter circle, they're absolutely exhausted. I think they're working a fairly short bench, and they've given it back. Keep working. Quick tap. Advantage. Two Samoans lining up to score it. Under the post. Great response from Samoa. Absolute desperation. And the referee's given the try. What a finish to an amazing quarterfinal. Bodies just strewn all over the field. Sioni at the breakdown, got his paws all over the ball, ripped it, got the penalty. And the exhausted Argentinian defenders couldn't quite get to the edge. And Samoa nail in the coffin here in cup quarterfinal number one. Well, that'll do it. The final score, 19-19.